This is a brand new Pride Maxima scooter. This is the new version. This just came out a few months ago. So this one here does have the seat lift elevation on it. So uh, this is the Pride Maxima with the seat lift elevation. This scooter has a 500 pound weight capability. So the first thing I'm gonna show is the seat going up on this brand new one, because if you're looking at this video, that's probably what you wanna see. So the seat elevation on this one is the button for the seat elevation is over here. So it's on this side right here. There's a little button. If I turn the key on, that would be better. And you can see the seat going up right now. So when the seat is completely elevated to the top on this scooter, your top of their seat from the seat from the floorboard to the top of the seat will be 24 inches and from the ground to the top of the seat will be 29 inches. Okay, so 24 to the top of the seat right here on the floorboard and about 29 inches to the top of the seat. Okay, when the seat's elevated in this scooter, it will drive but at a much reduced speed. Okay, now I would not recommend driving this scooter with the seat elevated uh, unless you're on flat, flat surface, you don't want to, because this is, uh, it's pretty rare you see a seat lift on a 500 pound weight scooter. So I would definitely do it in the house, but not anywhere where the, the ground is not level, okay? So the button for the seat lift is on the side right here on this side of the tiller. And we're gonna make it go down. And a nice thing about this seat too also is it's a swivel seat. So not only can you elevate but you can swivel the seat to the side and get out over here where there's nothing in your way. Now the seat on the scooter is a really nice high quality seat. It is 22 inches wide. This one's about 19 but it can be adjusted. So the depth can be adjusted from 18 to 20. So this is always going to be 22 inches here but we can push the back or bring the back up anywhere from 18 to 20 inches deep. You have a safety belt that comes with it. You have arms that flip up and these arms are adjustable right here with these two screws so you can adjust the arm up and down this is a captain seat so you can tilt the seat back and if you take the headrest off you can drop the seat pretty flat on the scooter if you had to travel and take it apart i'm sorry if you had to take it down this scooter does not come apart by the way the frame is all one frame okay so you could take the seat off and you could drop the tiller down. As a matter of fact, let me show you what that would look like right now. So if you took the seat off, you just pull it straight up. It is about 40 pounds, okay? And then, as I said, the frame does not come apart. So you'd have to take this right here and drop it down. There's a lever right here that you pull up. And now, with your basket removed, of course, so I was having a little bit of a hard time. When you take the basket, you have to push down and pull up on it and it comes right off. And I was gonna give you the measurements of the scooter with the tiller down for transportation. So we're looking about 29, between 28 and 29 inches, okay? Between 28 and 29 inches. Yeah, closer to 27, 27 to 28 inches. So from right here, it's about, let's just say conservatively 28 inches. So that's how you bring the tiller down. And right here, there's a little handle right under here. This is an infinite tiller, but that means you can have infinite positions. You can just pull it up, put any position you want when you're driving this way. When you put the seat back on, Oh, by the way, if you're going to make the seat larger, while I have it here, it's a good time to look at this. If you can see this over here, there's two screws here and two screws here. If you loosen up these screws, this is how you can see the gap right here, how much you have to play with. So this seat can go back two more inches just by loosening these screws, the back of the seat. This is how you do it with these two screws right here. Put your seat back on. 
Put the headrest back on. Okay, so we're gonna bring this back to a normal position. So this scooter also has all the way around a bumper, a metal half inch metal bumper all the way around the scooter to protect your scooter in case you hit a wall or someone. So it's very well protected. The width of the scooter from here to here is 27 inches, but this is a big seat. This is right here, 28 inches, okay? Let's measure that again. So from outside of arm to outside of arm, we have 28 inches. We might be able to bring these arms in and maybe another inch if we push them hard. Let's just see if that would work. No, they're as far as they'll go in. So 28 inches will be prettier with this big seat because the scooter's only 27, but this is really the width that you need to know a little less than 28 inches. So this scooter has, a, as I said, a 500 pound weight capability. It has a captain's seat. It has a total distance of about 19.8 miles on a battery charge. Now, that 19.8 will be different for everybody. It depends on the user's weight, what kind of surface you're on, how you drive the scooter, how fast you go, if you use a seat lift. So you may not get 19.8 miles. You might get less, you may get more. It depends how you drive the scooter and the weight of the user, okay? This scooter comes with two keys. It comes with one with a shroud around it and another small one right here. The, uh, it comes with what's called a delta tiller. This is a delta tiller right here. This part's called a delta tiller. So you can drive this scooter, you can go forward right here. Whoop, let me turn the key back on. So this lever on this side will make it go forward and the lever on this side will make it go reverse. But if you want to go reverse, you can put your hand on this side and pull this way. Now you're going reverse. And if you drive with your left hand, you pull this way. Now you're going forward. So you can drive with one hand. You can go forward by pulling down or reverse by going up on this tiller. Okay. You have the whole light kit on this scooter. So you can see the front lights right here, the headlights. And you can see in the back, the tail lights in the back right here, okay? So this, this scooter is equipped with lights. The front wheel on this scooter is about 10 and a half inches by three and a half inch wide. So these are big wide wheel, 10 and a half by three and a half. The back is 10 and three, just a little bit bigger, 10 and three quarters by three and a half inches wide, okay? You have on your tiller, you have horns. And you also have signals. You can see the signal lights blanking over here, front and back. So you have right signal, left signal, you have headlights, tail lights. You have a speed button right here. You can go from slow to fast. And you have your headlights here, of course, which I will turn off. There we go. And, and you also have hazards. So if you look at that, you have hazard lights. So if you want to drive with hazards on, if you're in a store or something, you don't want nothing. You also have hazard lights in the back. Let's look at the back real quick. So the back of the scooter, you have a pouch for your seat. You have a docking device right here. This is where you would put your basket, your oxygen holder, your cane holder, uh, whatever you need to put. And it comes with the pin. And that's your docking device right there. You don't need the pin actually. You could just tighten it up this way or use the pin also. Okay. If you ever had to put this scooter in neutral, there's your lever. Make sure the power is off. Push the lever up. It tells you right here. And up, it unlocks the motor. You can roll the scooter around. You have anti-tip wheels right here in the back. Okay. So, the length of this scooter is 47 and a half inches long, 47 and a half from here to the front. The width is 27. Remember the arms are gonna be about 28 inches. Top speed is 5.8 miles an hour. That's your top speed. When you charge this scooter, you will take your charger right here, which I'm not gonna open this box because this is a new scooter, but I'm gonna use this one for example right here. And there's your charging port right there. And you charge it right in this port right there. And as soon as the light turns green, the charger will shut off. 
You also have right here a USB port. So you have a USB, if you need to charge your phone, there's a USB port in here. And this is the handle right here to push up to adjust your tiller back and forth. So let's recap. This is the, this is the Pride Maxima, the new version. This one does not come apart. It has the frame all the way around to protect your scooter. It has the large 10 and 3 quarter tires in the back, 10 and a half tires in the front. It has the 22 inch seat that's width, adjustable depth from 18 to 20. It is a captain seat. It has the light kit front and back. It has <clears throat> flashers, hazards. It has a horn. I wouldn't call that a horn, but it does have a horn. And you have on this side, you may not be able to see it from there. On this side, you have an emergency brake. So if you ever had to, the scooter already has built-in brakes in the motors, okay? So if you let go, Within a foot or two, it's going to stop to a complete stop. But you have an emergency brake over here on this side if you need that. And you come, come to the basket with the owner's manual and everything else in there. So this is the Maxima scooter. The 500 pound weight capability. Top speed on this scooter is 5.8 miles an hour, between 5 and 5.8 miles an hour. So this has got the 500 pound weight capability with the big large 22 inch seat with the headlights and the tail lights, plenty of room and everything. In case you want to know how quick it turns, I'm going to make it turn right here. So that's your, you, this is as best as it's going to turn. That's the benefit of a three wheel. You got a better turning radius and you have room for your feet without having to have fenders up front. This scooter has a super heavy duty motor, so it has no problem in the grass because it has these large three and a half inch tire, 3.6 inch wide tires. And they're like 10.75 in the back and 10.5, 10 and a half in front. You have your seat lift here. I'm gonna raise the seat. As you can see, my seat is going up right now. May not seem like a lot, but look at my feet. Okay, five inches. You can still drive the scooter with the seat elevated and I think if you're halfway elevated, I think if you're halfway elevated, it drives a little faster. So the higher you go, the slower the, the scooter will drive, okay? So if you have it all the way down, it'll drive back at five miles, 5.5, 5.8. But as soon as you raise it up a little bit, it loses speed. It loses more and more speed as you raise the seat up. If you're gonna drive with the seat elevated, folks, please do it on flat surface, do not these are nice scooters you do have to take care of them, but keep it on flat surface uh, or just use the seat lift when you need to in the house or when you need to grab something but i would not recommend driving these with a seat elevated you're asking for trouble so this is the maxima scooter with the large swivel seat the 22 inch seat the depth is adjustable with the metal bumper all the way around the outside the large uh, solid tires just a nice heavy duty scooter if you need something with a 500 pound weight capability. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.